Hey, I'm Cody. I've been playing Brawler for a long time. I've seen many changes to blasters and, well, maybe it's time I teach people some of the things I know about blasters, about the akimbo firearms, or whatever you want to call them. Things are subject to change in this game, so be on the lookout. This guide mainly features the moveset and combos and strings of blasters. Before I begin the complete video, to understand hitboxing better on these moves, use these small blocks on Shipwreck to give you an idea of where your move will come out from, so that you know where your move will land, and to help with your spacing. If you don't know how to X-Pivot, which this video will have X-Pivoting in, there's a video in the description that will show you how to. I also want to point out that this bot has 5 defense and I'm using 5 strength on Diana. The damage numbers will differ depending on whatever legend or stance you're using, and the legend the opponent is using. The description will also include timestamps. Now let's begin the video. Our first move is Neutral Light, which does 17 damage. Now the max range for Neutral Light is around 2 blocks on Shipwreck, such as so. When you do neutral light, your character remains in place. You fire off two large bubbles in front of you. Second bubble will reach a little farther and higher than the first one. Like so. This can catch people off, a, off guard. If you catch the opponent in bubble one or two, well, you follow up with a third bubble. No matter which bubble the opponent gets hit by, the third bubble will always connect. When the third bubble hits, your legend will remain in place, without moving. This move is okay in ones, because sometimes it's safe to throw out, and your opponent can't punish it in time. The main downside of this move? You can't really follow up with it well. You've got X Pivot Nair, and you can do Falling Sarah into Neutral Light, but other than that, there's nothing else you can do with this move. 2v2, however, this move is slightly better. Neutral Light allows you to lock your opponent in place for a long time, allowing your partner to get a quick follow-up off of, or they can set up for a team combo. The downside of this move is if you land it, you're locked in place, and the opponent may hit you before you even get your main damage onto your target. Now we've got Sidelight which deals 16 damage and has a max range of 3 blocks on Shipwreck. When using this move, your character moves slightly forward. This move will only fire one bullet, no matter if you miss or not. At the top of the hitbox is a small little circle that you can see clearly that will catch airborne opponents off guard. This move is your main spacing move to use while grounded, and will contest some moves too. Unlike Neutral Light, this move is excellent in 1v1 and 2v2. Blasters need space, and this is what the move excels at. The downside of this move is, well, it can leave you pretty vulnerable, since there is some recovery time to it, and the move puts the bullet far out away from you. And your opponent can just jump over you and bonk your head, and you will die. Now we've got Downlight, which does 14 damage. Max range is around three blocks on Shipwreck, just like Psylite. When using this move, your character remains in place, no matter if any bullet hits or misses. When using this move, you fire bullets on the ground that are large and will always go in the following order. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Each bullet will always end up leaving the opponent being pushed away at the end of the hitbox, which I'll show you. Like so. No matter which bullet your opponent gets hit by, it will always lead them towards the next bullet until the move ends. This move can hit stacked. So if your opponent's too close, this is your best get off of me move. Gravity canceling this move is also effective due to the hitboxing and can catch grounded opponents like that. This is your main combo starting move while grounded. 
being the high damage or giving you the ability to kill. Like Silite, it's the same deal in ones and twos. This move can also help your partner to get a follow up off of or to start a team combo. Downside again is you're vulnerable due to the recovery time and your bullets are far away from you. People can just jump, bonk you in the head. Now we've got the aerial moves of the kit, which are some of the best on the blasters kit. And these moves are excellent in 1v1 and 2v2 due to the space they cover, the damage they produce, and the low recovery times on them. Our first aerial move is neutral air. The max range for Nair is two or three blocks horizontally. When you throw out this move, you remain in place if you hit or miss from this move. Now, if you X pivot it, you've got some momentum that you can use. When using this move, you throw out two bubbles. Let me get it better for you guys. There we go. You throw out two bubbles upward, which will fire depending on where you're facing. If you're facing the left, you fire first from the left arm. And if you're facing the right, you fire from the right arm. Now, this move, you only need one bubble to hit your opponent. And whatever bubble you hit your opponent with, it will not lead into the second bubble. Each bubble does the same damage that I just showed, so it doesn't matter which, which one you need to hit your opponent with. You can juggle with this move occasionally, and keep the, air the opponent airborne for some time. Just remember to know where to face when you want to use this move. Now we've got side air. This move will do 16 damage and is around three blocks long. You remain in place when you do this move. Now this move, you put out two small circles in front of you. The first one comes forward, then the second one comes downward and slightly inward towards you. Each bullet does the same amount of damage. first circle will not lead into the second circle. Only need to hit this move once. This is one of the main moves to use on blasters for killing. And this is the main aerial move you use to space people out. Now we have down air, which is 17 damage. When using this move, you remain in place. If you X pivot it, you got some momentum. With this move, you fire off two bullets, similar to the hitbox of side air. When this move connects, well, you fire off multiple rounds, which will pull the opponent towards you. Only one of the first two bullets needs to hit in order for the entire move to continue. Should you hit the opponent differently, damage will be affected. Such as that. One special thing about this move which I unfortunately couldn't show you is a red drop that occurs with this move. Under a specific circumstance where the move doesn't fully pull the opponent towards you, the opponent will no longer be locked in place and they can 100% dodge out of dare. Even though the opponent dodged out, your character animation will still force you to continue this move. So hopefully this drop will be fixed. Now I want to talk about something that a lot of people don't know about. Something I call the bounce. The bounce is where you hit your opponent towards the stage, bouncing them off in a direction. Like this. And when they hit a wall, platform or stage, they lose said momentum. You can use this momentum to your advantage when trying to do combos such as Dare and Assair. Ways to use the bounce will be shown in the combos section. Now we have recovery and ground pound. 
Recovery is a 22 damage move that allows you to fly in the air. Somehow, due to video game mechanics, I guess. The first hitbox of this move is a circle that covers the upper thigh towards the latter part of the ankle because you're kicking the opponent up. The rest of the move follows with the hitbox getting larger because of your blaster twirling, leading your opponent getting launched more upward, then firing a single bullet into their cranium. The first hitbox of the move will be different depending on where you're facing, just like neutral air. When facing right, you kick and twirl your gun with your right side of your body, and you fire with the left gun. When facing the left, you kick and twirl your gun with the left side of your body, and you fire with your right gun. Damage will be affected with this move if you don't fully connect some of the hitboxes. If this move drops or you don't connect all your hitboxes together, your opponent can dodge away. So make sure you connect everything. This move is one of the best at killing, but make sure you are 100% confident this will hit because it's punishable and risky to throw out. We've got ground pound, and when you do this move, you have two hitboxes. First hitbox is the one you connect or let go. It'll do 20 25 damage. Sorry. Now if you let go of the move, like that, you do 24 damage instead. This move has two hitboxes, where you have that one, which is charged, and you got this hitbox, which is let go, and it gets bigger. To figure out which hitbox will be bigger, if you see the left side of your character's face, in that case it was the right. If you see the right side of your character's face, the left hitbox will be smaller. And if you see the left side of your character's face, the right hitbox will be bigger. I mean, smaller, sorry. If you don't understand this, place yourself in the point of view as your character. Such as in the medical field when talking about discovery, the healthcare provider will refer to the patient's point of view rather than their own point of view. If you hit this move, it won't send the opponent into the other hitbox. It'll just lead them downward. And oh boy, this move packs a punch. Now onto the combo section. Some of these combos or strings will not be possible at certain healths. Look at the health in the top right or practice these combos in training mode to get an understanding of when to do these moves. Some of these combos will also require the opponent to not have a dodge. With that being said, here we go.
Alright, that'll be the video. More parts will come out at some point. Thanks to Flipside and Alters for the editing and thumbnail. Their links will be in the description, so have a good one.